Good afternoon. I'm Josh Tolentino, joined by my co-host Jason Clare, and welcome to this week's edition of the Vidette Redbird Beat. Since our last show, a trio of ISU team seasons have come to an end. A couple weeks back, ISU soccer lost in the round of 32 to Duke due to the fact of two goals in less than a minute after ISU tied up at one, the Blue Devils advanced into the tournament. A week later, ISU volleyball fell in the semifinal round of the MVC tournament, lost to the top-seeded Missouri State Bears. Volleyball was not the only team to lose at the hands of a Bear. Illinois State football lost to Central Arkansas Saturday 31-24 after getting off to a 10-0 lead. Illinois State looked to be advancing in the playoffs for the second straight season. However, a 24-point fourth quarter propelled the Bears over the Birds and Brock Spack and his team went a little bit further than expected. However, finished the season at 6-6, six and six, not looking into the offseason. A lot of questions. Josh, right now in the midst of it on the hard court, there's an ISU team whose season is just beginning. That's right, Jason. The shift of focus completely goes now towards basketball, where the ISU men's basketball team is 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Their loss is com coming to the hands of TCU and the season opener at Murray State. Um, coming up this week, they're continuing their season-long uh, three-game homestand. Tomorrow they face IUPUI, um, and Saturday New Mexico comes to town. The team sits early at 500 um, through four games, Jason, but one thing that needs to improve in order, if they're going to pick up more wins, is defense. Uh, Coach Dan Muller has stressed that there's been a lack of defensive intensity um, throughout the team. They're not playing complete team defense. And one problem that can be attributed to that is the lack of depth. Uh, right now they're missing big man David Njai. Uh, Keyshawn Evans was sick this past weekend. And also um, Madison Williams has just recovered from a concussion. So once this team is fully healthy, I think the defense will improve along with other aspects of the game. Good news for Dan Muller and the Birds is that tomorrow versus UPI is game two of three in the season-long homestand. I have to be liking that. They wrap up that three-game homestand with New Mexico coming in this Saturday as part of the MWC MVC Challenge. Tune in every week into the Vedette Redbird Beat to keep you up to date with the freshest ISU athletics news. For Josh Tolentino, I'm Jason Clare. Thank you for joining us.